little fellow dies and goes to heaven and and St. Peter said, would you, would you, um, would you, um, um, would you like to have a look around, um, in heaven? And the fellow said, uh, yeah, I, I would, actually. So they're looking around heaven. And he said, um, who are those people over there? He said, oh, they are the Muslims. They are Muslims, there. Yeah. And over there we have the Jewish people. And, uh, yeah, these are Anglicans and Hindus, Baptists. He said, oh, what, why do you have this big wall here? He said, oh, um, behind the wall, you see, we have the Catholics. <laughs> he said, why, why, why do you have um, the Catholics behind the wall? He said, shh, they like to think that they're the only ones here. <laughs> What's meant to happen when you die and go to heaven? You see a big bright light. You walk towards the light. What's at the end of the light? All your dead relatives. <laughs> well, whoop de fucking do. You ever spent a weekend at your grandparents' house? It's fucking shit. You'd be out there for an hour going, wish you all me friends would die. You'd be out there meeting everyone. Hello, Nana. Hello, Grandad. Hello, uncle who used to touch me. How did you get up here? <laughs> oh, that's right, you used to work for the church. <laughs> like, my religion, it, it, it's nuts. It's fucking nuts. Like, my religion, like, the way I was brought up is like, you know, you, you can make it to heaven, but like some of your family members possibly couldn't. Or some of your friends. It doesn't even make sense. Like, how am I supposed to enjoy heaven if that's the deal, right? Just sitting there waiting for my friends to show up, like, Jesus Christ, where the hell are they? It's been like 150 years, they must have eaten a lot of Brussels sprouts or some shit, doing some yoga, right? And then one day it just settles in that they didn't make it. And then what, I'm still gonna enjoy heaven, right? Jesus, Jesus coming walking over like, hey, how's it going, everybody? Is this great, is this great? Yeah, dude, it'd be even better if four of my family members and friends weren't burning for fucking ever. Like, will you just keep thinking of that there, J-Star? What do you think? <laughs> hey, dude, I didn't ask you to come over. You came walking over, you big dumb sandal. Hey, hey, how you, how you going over here? Why did you come over here? I don't give a... Dude, tell your dad. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm already in here. I'm already in here. What, are you going to kick me out afterwards? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I knew he was going to be like that. I knew it. The boss's son is the worst. Fucking sense of entitlement. Look, I was raised Catholic, so I know he did that for me, and I appreciate it, you know, thank you. He, little pre he should have asked first, you know. I would have said, I'm all set, I don't need that done, because... A little presumptuous. Only because, look, here's the thing. I was raised Catholic, and I'm not anymore, because they, look, if they're right, I am fucked. I'm going to hell, I am. Because I'm really a bad... I do wrong shit a lot. Man, it's really, I'm going to hell, I know it. And I don't want to go to hell. And really because I don't like new places. That's really the reason. Because I'm afraid I'll go to hell. I won't know where to sign up for shit. I'll be all confused. Like the first day of school, you know? I wonder, is there like a schedule to hell? How organized is your damnation? Like, the first they put you in one room and some monster fucks you up the ass for a thousand years. You come out, you're like, well, I ain't fucking around in there, I tell you. <laughs> I don't recommend that room. <laughs> that was a drag. <laughs> then they take you and they put you in another room and they shit on your head. I don't know what the fuck they're doing out there, but what if, what if hell's not like that? What if I'm just standing in a hallway in hell like, what do I do? Where do I go? <laughs> Some demon walks up to me, hey, ah, and I'm like, ah, demon. <laughs> And the demon's like, come on, suck my dick. Ah! <laughs> now I'm blowing a demon in hell and it's horrible. And I'm thinking I shouldn't have lied so much or whatever. <laughs> but here's my question. What if when I'm done blowing the demon in the hallway? Which, how do you know when you're done blowing a demon in the hallway? 
I guess when he comes fire ants on you, whatever. When I'm done blowing the demon in the hallway, what if some guy in charge of hell walks up to me and goes, hey man, you didn't have to blow that guy, you know? He just hangs out here. He's not part of your damnation or anything. What did you blow him for? I, I just assume you're supposed to blow people. But... He said, suck my dick. So, I, you know, so say no. What's so hard about that? Jesus. Look, man, you better pace yourself. You're down here forever. You're going to blow a lot of demons and elephants, all kinds of shit. Don't be freelancing in the hallways, for Christ's sakes. There's something else that uh, is said after uh, a death. But this one involves belief, which is where I begin to have big problems. <laughs> this one happens after the funeral, after the burial, back at the house. Back at the house where the family and friends and the loved ones of the deceased are having some food and drink and they're enjoying some warm reminiscences of the person who passed away. Sooner or later, someone is bound to say the following. Uh, especially after a few drinks. <laughs> you know, I think he's up there now, smiling down at us. <laughs> and I think he's pleased. <laughs> now, first of all, there is no up there. For people to be smiling down from. <laughs> it's poetic, it's quaint, and I guess for superstitious people it provides a little comfort, but it doesn't exist. But if it did, if it did, and if someone did somehow survive death in a non-physical form, I personally think he'd be far too busy with other celestial activities than to be standing around paradise, smiling down. <laughs> On live people, what kind of a fucking eternity is that? And why is it no one ever says, I think he's down there now, <laughs> smiling up at us? <laughs> Apparently, it never occurs to people that their loved ones might be in hell. <laughs> your parents could be in hell right now. Your parents and your father for sure. <laughs> oh, shit, hell is full of dads. Full of dads. Even the ones who took you to the ball game just for beating the shit out of you once too often and fucking the neighbor lady and fucking the neighbor dog and who knows maybe even fucking the UPS man we'll never know what mischief dad was up to parents in heaven parents in hell excuse me kind of gives me a nice feeling you know grandparents in hell Picture that. Picture your grandmother in hell. Baking pies without an oven. And if someone were in hell, I doubt very seriously he'd be smiling. I think he's down there now, screaming up at us. And I think he's in severe pain. People just refuse to be realistic. They don't like to be realistic. People would rather stroke themselves, you know? Oh, they like to stroke themselves, don't they? Stroke themselves, they stroke each other, they get stroked. They stroke the boss, the boss strokes them. Everybody strokes everybody. It's nothing but a big stroke job in this country. The government strokes you every day of your life. Religion never stops stroking you. Big business gives you a good stroke, and it's one big transcontinental cross-country red, white, and blue stroke job. Do you know? I'm so scared, Mark. People don't talk about it, but death is an horrible thing. One minute you're alive, and then just like that, it's all gone. 
This is it, Mark. A few more hours like this and then... Oh, an eternity of nothingness. Nurse! Her vitals are dropping. favorite place in the whole world yeah. and everyone you've ever loved and who's ever loved you will be there and you'll be young again you can run and jump like you used to and dance you used to Let's talk about a real issue at hand Trash piling up, it's time to take a stand From plastic bottles to styrofoam cups My plan is drowning, it's time to wake up Garbage trucks roll, streets lined with waste But where does it go? It's not a race To the landfill and mountain of despair But we can change course, show that we care Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand Single-use plastics, they gotta go From straws to bags, it's time to say no Bring your own cup, your own tote bag Small steps add up, let's not lag Sorting all waste, it's not that tough Recycling centers, that's where it's rough Separate paper, glass and cans Give them a new life, that's the plan Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand But it's not just about the stuff we toss It's about the mindset, there's no loss Composting food waste, it's a win Turning scraps to soil, let's begin Educate the masses, from young to old The future's at stake, let the story unfold For the sake of our planet, our home sweet home Let's clean up our hats, together we roam Trash talk, it's more than just words It's about actions, the change we deserve Reduce, reuse, recycle That's the plan for a cleaner, greener earth Let's take a stand There's no pain Just love Happiness Everyone gets a mansion and it lasts for an eternity. An eternity, Mum. <laughs> Say hello to Dad for me. Tell him I love him. Go on. What else happens? I'm gonna see my mother again when I die. Tell us more, please. <laughs>